Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So, um, I'm making this video to basically explain why it's been so long that uh, since my last post, um, I think it's been over a month since my last video was uploaded. And um, although that's not totally out of character with my channel, I don't post that often. Um, I, have, I do want to make an effort and I've actually had this video filmed for over a month now. Um, unfortunately, some personal things have come up which I'll talk about in a second, and uh, some things to do with Trip Whip, which have taken up a lot of my time. The video that I'm, I filmed and, and, and I'm in the middle of editing is uh, called, it's probably gonna be called Channeling the Machine Knows Live on Weed, or something like that. Um, and yeah, it's, it's as crazy as it sounds, the video. <laughs> it's, I'm, I won't get into too much detail now because the video is close to being released. Well. I'm going to see, I'm making this video now instead of just editing the video um, because I'm about to go on holiday uh, for about a week with my girlfriend and so I probably won't get much time to work on it. Um, so it's probably gonna be about a, at least a week before the video is released, unfortunately. Um, but it's a cool one. It's a really cool one. Uh, yeah, I was not expecting, I, I was making this video kind of like hoping that I'd maybe have like a machine off like experience on weed, but really what I was expecting was for me to film myself meditating on weed, talk about how intense it was, and then discuss the machine elves while high on weed. Uh, what happened blew my fucking mind open. So I am really, really excited to share it with you guys. And, but it's a hard one. I've actually tried to, um, see the thing is, cause I was so high when I filmed it, I, I have to make like another video kind of translating what I was saying while I'm high, because I'm like pausing for two minutes and like just just doing weird shit. So, <laughs> so yeah, I, um, I'm looking forward to sharing that video, but it's uh, still gonna be um, a little bit from now before it's released. And um, the personal stuff that's holding me off is my brother has actually gone into a meth psychosis um, and he's in mental hospital at the moment. And yeah, that's not been it's been a little disturbing to uh, deal with because I didn't even know my brother was on meth until I was at work um, about a month ago or something like that. And I, I got a call from him saying that he was trapped in his house by an upside down monster. Um, and it had lured him into a parallel universe. And if he tried to leave, he'd die um, or someone would take his place and die. But if he stayed at the house, he'd die. So really full on stuff. and. Um, yeah, he's been recovering now that he's in the mental hospital. But uh, yeah, so I'm actually working on a documentary with my brother on his situation. And um, I think it's 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 gonna be an interesting one. I gotta put a lot of work into it. So there's that. I, I will get my brother to probably actually make a video just for Trip Whip called uh, What is a Meth Psychosis Like? Because he's very articulate and I think it, it would interest a lot of people. It's not what you would expect how it's how it's affected him. Um, and the borders between reality and, and his hallucination have, have blurred severely. So, um, yeah, that's going to be an interesting one to release. Um, I'll probably release the documentary on a new channel, maybe call it Trip Whip Films or something like that. And I'll make, you know, psych documentaries about psychedelics and things and maybe some short films involving psychedelics and uh, maybe trip simulations, things like that. Um, but yeah, uh, the other thing that has been uh, taking up a bit of time as I made a merch site for Trip Whip. Um, it'd be really cool if you checked it out. I have some um, interesting designs up in there. So far, uh, at this point of making this video, I've only uh, released the designs of one of the artists I'm working with, um, Ellie. She's uh, Ellie Williamson. She's doing some uh, sick designs. She's done a design of a machine elf. She did a design of a psychedelic pug. They look absolutely wicked. So um, check out the, um, check out yeah, check out the link or the merch site. I'll probably leave a link to the merch site in the description or a link at the end of the video. I'm working with a couple of other artists um, to, to release some stuff in the merch site. Uh, one of them is a is somebody who's actually experienced machine elves themselves. And it sounds like, like for real, like I've gotten people message me on Instagram before saying, oh, I, I know these machine elves that you're in contact with. I'm in contact with them then too, but about 50% of the time, it sounds like they're in contact with something else. Um, but this guy, Chris, he's, he's the closest description to the machine elves that I've described so far. I would say they are for sure the same, the same stuff that he's picking up on. Um, 
so yeah, he's going to be doing some design of the machine elves and shit as well to release on the uh, on the merch side. I think that's about everything I wanted to update you guys with. But yeah, I am really looking forward to sharing with you this fucking meditation on weed I had. It is fucking, it was fucking hectic. The first night, cause I only planned on doing it once. And the first night was cool. Like I did, I got, I got, I went to the, the realm of the Bashina. It was the Matrix-ish land. Um, I won't, yeah, I won't spoil too much about it cause I'll, I'll probably reveal it in the next video, but um, the second I decided because I couldn't let go my girlfriend was over it's hard for me to let go and get comfortable during the meditation but the second night I meditated on the weed was able to let go and holy macaroni it was uh, something else <laughs> like wow um, it was a full like it was a full blown trip like a, like a full blown trip um, and I've come out and I'm I, I was able to remember quite a bit from it and it's made me seem even crazier to myself so I've had to do a lot of Googling to try and justify some of the shit, but uh, yeah. Anyway, homies, I won't take up too much of your time. Thank you for listening. Um, I hope you guys are having a fucking great time. Keep positive. Keep goddamn positive. There's no reason not to be positive these days. Our mind fires. I, I know... You <laughs> I always like try and end it on a positive note or find somewhere in my video to put some positive information in it's probably cheesy as fuck <laughs> i'm sure like uh, a few of you guys hate me hate me talking like this but it's a reminder to myself even as well you know well thank you for listening to this update anyway i'm sorry that it's not the video i wanted it to be um the meditation video but anyway guys have a fucking great day have a fucking great night i hope you're in a good mood and if you're not get yourselves there because you deserve to be there unless you don't want to be in which case you do you Anyway, I'll see you soon. Peace.